Here we are now with a P72 GSR intake manifold because I'm well aware there's quite a few of you guys who'd like to retain the IAB function and I can couldn't agree more because it retains good torque spread on the power band. So we're going to work on this and port it, try to get it as better as we can or as good as we can to get it improved and while maintaining the IAB function. So you know, we'll be finding good stuff and solutions here just so you wait. Let's go. Here we are, the GSR P72 intake manifold. Yep. Now we're gonna try to get some practical solutions that would work and improve. And while maintaining the IAB function and taking advantage of that to spread the torque even better. So yep, we're gonna do some in interesting work now, right? Okay, we're gonna remove the butterfly section on this manifold and start getting to work. So yep. Let's go about it now. Okay, now here we've inked up the throttle body flange to show you guys. But, okay, let's remove it. Here, let me show you. We can't really go to 70 millimeter throttle because look, it reach, reaches the IECV port, right? So, you know, it's uh, you can go up to the Skunk 2's throttle body, the 66 millimeter, or run, run a different flange here for you to be able to run a 70 millimeter throttle body. So let's take off the plenum to show you guys the insides. Wait, keep the bolt somewhere safe. Remove this. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, slowly. Oh no, catch the gas. Be careful with the gasket. All right. There. There you go. Okay. Now this, the IEB plate, remove. In, on this one here, we can port from this side to actually improve the entry on the platinum. And we're going to do that later. We're going to show you how we do it later. All right. So now let's remove the IEB section. There you go. Here we go. That's the intake manifold, well, the lower half, or in this case, the upper half. For the H22, is called the lower half, but this is the upper half, okay? Here, we can port these areas, the long side and the short side, slightly bigger than the IEB section. This way, it gives it a small step of an anti-reversion sequence. It does not hurt to do this because, you know, it, it, we won't mind it if it helps anti-reversion, right? Okay, so now let's go. Careful to remove the gasket so we can show you right before we start porting this. All right, here we go. The gasket's removed now. And you can see here on this section here, because that's the short turn, we're gonna try to widen that a little bit to equalize airspeed from the long turn and the short turn. So we're gonna go to that. And no, you can see in the bottom one is actually a bit square so that's kind of okay like the short turn is already wide enough so it's only on the round ones that we're gonna do a bit of work on the short turn but we're gonna work on all of it so now let's go to the porting bench here we go and you know you gotta subscribe if you like seeing what you're seeing because we, we share all the porting work that we do all right so we as we go we time lapse so that it doesn't get too boring here we try to clean up the first the upper side or you know the shorter runner the full throttle section and of course i know some people would say that you know with the ieb function it still won't perform yes but this is a street manifold and you know some people would actually like to keep this function really good right now before you we show you guys the porting bench we're going to do the short side here we invert it now this is 80 grit by the way 80 grit now we time lapse so we can show you this after 
just blow drying or you know spraying it with water and then blow dry and then show it in the workbench yep here we are now let's go back to the workbench here we are now yep it's getting there it's not yet done but it's getting there you can see we worked on the good side walls in the short term to make it good you know sorry and here you can see it's getting better it's gonna be you know this is gonna be flowing really good you know oh wait there's still water yep we washed it with water and then blow dried but you know there's still water there right you can see now it's gonna go through and through right well soon when we're done not yet not yet so yep so now we can go back to the porting bench and you know keep working on this until it's really good so let's go but before that let me show you this here on the platinum side we're gonna port this area just to increase the opening sort of like you know to try to emulate a velocity stack entry it won't be quite like a velocity stack but it's gonna be close enough and just improve the entry to get the airspeed starting really really good and early right even on the long the long side of the runner when the butterfly is closed we're gonna open it up yep there's still carbon in it we haven't cleaned it all right so now okay this time we go to the porting bench this time is for real let's go let's go okay now we go with the carbide because we're trying to remove the casting flash or the casting marks between the merging of the core all right now let's time lapse so it's not doesn't get too boring okay some of you guys may be wondering why we're doing this it's like when you think about it for example a p30 b16 intake manifold it has long runners right but we all know if you increase the platinum volume you slightly increase top end while retaining the torque because of the long runners right and as well as the type r manifold if you increase the platinum it's gonna be stronger same here with this increasing the platinum volume would help both runners right okay now here we go with the 80 grit again trying to smooth it out because we got the shape really good now and okay going back to the platinum increase in volume it's like okay let's say it's it gains probably around three to four or three to five percent gain on the short runner and the long run runner by porting this right on a gsr now think about it on a b20 you put this that would have like a flat line torque curve it'll be like torquey as heck right i mean like a b20 non vtec and then you put this modify and put this that's gonna be good and you know i'll play the devil's advocate ho ho our friend paco from spain spain watches this because he has a b20 non vtec that he also modified a p30 b16 intake manifold to run in it for more torque and here you can see his beautiful EK hatch with ferio wheels. It looks really, really good. Look at that. With the wing and all that, it looks really good. And here, this shot is just awesome. Look at that. On the countryside. Yep. Yes. Going for a drive on a curvy road. Here's the modification he did for the P30 manifold and the non VTEC head. Pretty smart, right? We have a video we did to show how this is done and that's the engine bay. Look, it's a B20 non VTEC, but P30 intake manifold. So, you know, he could probably do this too. Like convert a GSR intake manifold for his B20 non VTEC. Oh gosh, he might try to buy this, right? Mm-hmm. And now, okay, as I showed you guys this one earlier, we're gonna port it from the inside here, from the underside, just to get the opening really good and both including the longer runners right okay so now let's go to the porting bench all right we go with the carbide first carbide cutter this way it's gonna be faster it won't take too long all right we try to get the curve really good we try to get it get the opening to actually you know resemble a velocity stack or some sort of proper entry all right okay now we go to the other side we invert it right there okay we gotta do this real quick and then before going with the 80 grit we're gonna show you guys how it looks before smoothing it out all right here we go here we are let's show you stop this yes okay there you go 
look at that is starting to look like a proper entry an actual entry right i mean you know the stock one is good but this is going to be a lot better because it funnels in or funnels down into the runners all right let's now let's go with the et grid all right here we are now we're gonna start getting this smoother and smoother okay but let's go with the time lapse first all right there because you can actually still see the changes even if it's on a time lapse so it's gonna be good for you guys less boring right okay there you go this is the longer runner side i mean the shorter runner side on the wide open throttle section and then we go to the longer ones down at the bottom here and later we're going to be porting the rest of the manifold onto the long stretch but we're going to get to that later we do this first all right now we invert it go to the other side this way it's going to be perfectly round or circle yep there you go you can see it's actually getting smoother and good right yep this is gonna be awesome now there's only two left all right and later we're going to talk about how this is going to be perfectly matched to the manifold the rest of the manifold all right okay now let's go to the rest of the manifold and port it some more okay we'll be smoothing out now with the 80 grid again the long side or the longer runners the one that's going to be used for low rpm until the mid range yep we get it smooth all right and then let's go with the time lapse all oh, this manifold is going to be really good imagine if you run this on a b20 with a one-up piston or so ycp gen 3 get the proper deck clearance or the quench clearance this is going to be like super efficient and give you excellent fuel economy while still exceeding the 200 horsepower mark that's going to be awesome right now let's get this intake manifold washed up and cleaned and we can head back to the workbench and show you guys let's go ta-da here you go look at that would you look at that i mean you know it's a lot better way way better than in stock form right it's no longer rough in the casting and it's gonna be flowing even better than it should or than it did before you can look close you can see we widened the short turn a bit this way it equalizes airspeed all right now let me show you something here wait Let's get this here in position we actually ported the rest but of course we're gonna finish this once we know what head is gonna go to because you can see the last part we didn't really port this way we can port match it really good but you can see it almost goes through and through almost it just takes more time and that's the same thing as an h22 all right now here let me show you something if you guys have clicked here or watched this on port matching, we'll have it in the description below. We actually made a gasket now, another gasket, of course. This way, we can get the manifolds pattern uh, transferred to, towards the IAB spacer. This way, we can actually infuse a little bit of step into the manifold this way to me it minimizes reversion and that's only a good thing you know it's nothing but good right and now here i haven't shown you this here you can see here's the ieb spacer and you can match with a gasket you can actually match this to the manifold of course you can't go too big because you're going to be hitting the butterfly so you just match it right there by the edge here once this is done you can actually have a spacer made this way it increases the plan of volume it increases the plan of volume for the shorter runner and the longer runner this way you can tune it and the mid rpm is going to be improving and as well as the higher rpm that's nothing but good right okay now here it is we haven't shown you this because you know we were cleaning it earlier but now we can show you the plenum here we got it smoothed out and this way it transfers to the entry look here see that's like a mini velocity stack wait sorry 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 here look that's like a mini velocity stack right it's better than stock yep so imagine if you got a spacer made for the plenum side you improve the entry and actually increase the volume that's 
going to be an improvement to the whole manifold system with with the IAB function. So that's nothing but good, right? So of course, a type R style manifold is going to be even better for drag. But not everyone is busy with drag racing, right? So here, this is the plan that you do, and it's going to be good. And that's kind of simple. We don't have the spacer made yet, but if ever that's needed, that's easier to do or to have to cut. And as we talked about the functions of a GSR intake manifold, you can also click here for more of that.